following a five-week break, the Monster Energy MX Nationals roared back into life today at Appen here in New South Wales. Cam Williams, big winner today was Matt Moss, now inched to within four points of that MX1 championship lead. Yeah, look, he made hay while the sun was shining, didn't he, Matt Moss, today? He did a fantastic job. Second moto probably could have been a better moto for him. He said that on the podium. But the reality is when you're racing someone like Cody Cooper who gets to start, good luck catching him. So four points. This thing's going to go all the way down to the wire and Harvey Bay in two weeks is going to be a really tough one. Now Matt Moss, he won that opening moto. Moto two was Moto Pirelli Suzuki teammate Cody Cooper. He come out, won that one. Pretty amazing ride from Cooper again. That moto two, he's just got those ones dialed. He, he does. If he can get a start in the first moto, like he said on the podium, he's so hard to beat this guy. You give him a sniff of a lead at, at the start and he's gone and you won't catch him. He, he's so such an enigmatic character, I'm trying to say there, that, that he just he can't seem to make a lot of passes in a race, but if he gets to the front, he is gone. How about Motorx KTM's Kirk Gibbs, third on the podium, another podium for the MX1 rookie. Great job, he was consistent all day and uh, he's going to build a lot of confidence from this. He's had good results all year, but they just seem to get better and better. They do, and as far as the rookies go, he and Adam Monia are doing a fantastic job right now. They really are stepping up to the plate. Uh, he actually lost second place on the countback with Cody Cooper, you know, because of that last moto result. So Gibbs, Gibbs is right there, you know, and when we're talking about this field this year, it's stacked. You know, we, we were mentioning in commentary, we were watching Jay Marmont battling for 10th place. Who would have thought that at the start of this year? I'll tell you what, the pack today, so many mix-ups, there was just guys like Monia, McKenzie, Bopping, even Marmont, they were all in the mix at times today. They, they were all in the mix, and Monia in that last moto, that was a phenomenal ride. Something else we have to mention as well, it looks like Gareth Swanapool's got a broken wrist out of today, so, oh man, those guys are Carlton Dry Honda, I really feel for them right now, it's a really, really tough day out. How about Todd Waters, he ended up 10th overall in the MX1. Broken collarbone, just surgery on that two weeks ago. Less than two weeks ago, actually. So, 10th overall for the round. Matt Moss is right on his tail in this championship, but he should come back stronger and good way to salvage points. He, he went about that and you could see that in that second moto, he was salvaging points. We had a quick chat to him and, and his arm was just going weak. So he got to a point where he said he was feeling really well and he was he was battling with Matt Moss, but he came into a corner and the arm just went weak and the bike tucked on him. So from there it was just slow it down a notch and salvage what you can, you know, and that's what he's done. And, and Harvey Bays, it's a pretty much a home track or close to a home track for Todd Waters and he's very good in the sand. Awesome round it was. Track was prime, crowd was great. Let's check out the Monster Energy MX1 highlights. <laughs> In the Motul MX2 ranks, Luke Stark, Soko Yamaha rider, took another round win, fifth round win of the season. Wasn't such a great week for his team as Luke Clout was injured, but for Stark, another win in the bag extended his championship. Yeah, he was dominant today too, wasn't he? I mean, make him, make him won that first moto fair and square, and he rode very, very well in that first moto, but Luke Stark, he's the man to beat for the championship, and obviously with you know, Josh Casey, he's done for the rest of his motocross series. So, so right now, it's actually Luke Stike's championship to lose. He's got a lot more to lose now than he does to gain. How good was Kale Macon? Boosted himself up to second in the championship now. Broke through for his first pro moto win in that first one. Looks so comfortable doing it. He fought back in the second one and uh, ended up second overall. Yeah, he's really found his feet in this class, Kyle Makem, hasn't he? And that bike looks very good. His throttle control was good. And, and overall, his fitness was exceptional. So, And we saw him charge really hard at the back end of that second moto to get himself to where he did. And that last 10 minutes was phenomenal for Kyle Makem. So he is a real talent for the future, Kyle Makem. He shows that he can mix it with these guys and beat these guys. So I'm looking forward to next year with that kid for sure. I think possibly even the rider of the round, Cade Mosig, back from injury, put 07 Motorsports Kawasaki on that podium, aboard the 2014 model as well, so, so good to see Cade back and he was just consistent all day and he kept Stark on it. 
like, yeah, look, this is a tough sport, isn't it? You know, and we are at one thaggy and we saw those guys lose both their riders. And to get Mosey back here and, and to get on the box, it's it's just reward for all the hard work and all the heartbreak that they've gone through, you know. And, and I'm really pumped for Cade Mosey and Steve Power and the guys at 07. They put in a lot of work for a privateer team and they're, they're a slick effort. So it's really good to see those guys be rewarded by Mosey's hard work with the box. Yes, and Duran Stapleton fourth as well as Reese Carter in fifth. So a couple of Suzuki's there inside the top five. Awesome day it was again in the MX2. Let's check out those guys' highlights. Yeah, we taking over. Yeah, we taking over the game. Pirelli MXD ranks today, Jack Simpson back on top of the podium. Privateer KDM, such a good kid, great to see. Yeah, he is a really good kid, isn't he? And he's a phenomenal starter. And we looked at this track and we thought maybe if it's a bit of a hard pack, these two strokes will struggle. But his throttle control really did come to the fore today, Jack Simpson. He was fantastic. As was Hamish Harwood. He did really well to conserve his championship lead. And you can see the maturity coming out in that kid now. He's thinking about championship now, not, not about just race wins. Jay Wilson, he rose to second. You know, overall for today, then Harwood third. So these guys, the consistency, it's not always there, but it seems to be the same guys rising to the top each round. Yeah, look, Jay, Jay Wilson, the kids, man, if he can get a start, he, the first lap, the first moto, 23rd at the end of the first lap, second moto, 26th at the end of the third lap, and both motos, he gets himself back to third. So the speed is there, but it's the start that he's missing, you know, and we see this in this MXD category. This is where these guys learn about consistency, about starting, and about charging through the pack, and, and we're watching these guys learn the lessons week in, week out. Joel Dinsdale, tough break for him, the uh, other GYTR Yamaha. Won that first moto in style and then in that second one, unfortunately crashed. Out. Yeah, he was charging hard in that first moto and we saw him at the end of it and he said he had to get aggressive early, which he did. And we know this track is one line, so, you know, rubbing's racing as they say. And yeah, had a pretty big crash up on the hill. Uh, from what we're getting so far, no broken bones, but definitely had his bell rung, so he's off to get a few scans just to make sure he's all right. But he is, he's, he's remembering stuff now, so it looks pretty positive for Dinsdale. But in terms of his first year in his championship, whew, so that's a kid for the future. Yeah, fingers crossed for Joel. Yeah. Thank you, Cam Williams. Check out the MXD highlights here on motoonline.com.au.